All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of so freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform. This is Let's Talk TV, your one and only and first and then the only confirmation to YouTube channel that gives you every issue trending and then past issues happening in Biafran territory. Do not forget to share this video to as many groups and platforms as possible. Yes, um, the Biafran Republic government in SI Prime Minister Simon Ekpan Joko continues to celebrate. I'm going to show you a video where the Prime Minister Simon Ekpan Joko was dancing, you know, in celebration of a victory. Let me not let me not mention the victory and them um, uh, congratulations for for the things that he has been achieving you know since since um he carried the man to the reality the reality is that you know when the hands of um, god is upon a man you see things that were difficult will start going smoothly you know we've seen it in the past of great leaders you know of israel you know back-to-back -back leaders of israel when a particular leader that god's favor is upon his hand comes in you see things will start going smoothly this was in the case of saul you know before saul went contrary to god's um, decision if you notice when saul moved you know when saul was anointed when he was selected you saw how things started moving. They went to war and they won, you know, most of um, their battles. All of their battles. It was when Saul started fighting with David, trying to buy David. That was when, you know, God's hand was taken away from um, uh, um, Saul. God removed his hand from Saul. And that was when things started going bizarre for him. And this is also the case of the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. Let me tell you the truth. Most of the victories you've been seeing, most of them, um, the things he has been achieving, you will tell me, you, you there is no way you come out and tell me that those things are easy. You know, do you want to talk about the fact, you know, that he has been able to communicate with um, the U.S. cabinet, the U.S. speakers and all that, you know, pushing Biafra and everybody is accepting these whatever he proposes people accept the love that he's getting them from people the massive love that he's getting from biafrans all over the world you know these are things these are things um, that you should even look at and you will agree with me that um, truly god's favor is upon this man and that is the most important thing another victory has been recorded by the biafran republic prime minister simon Epa and the biafran republic government in sim you know government generally and then um, you see how they are celebrating this one around but let me tell you let me warn also for those who feel that their major problem is the Prime Minister Simon Ekpan Joko? The reality is that you cannot do a man that has been ordained by God, that has been anointed to carry on the mountain. You cannot do him anything. Meanwhile, do not forget, if you're joining us for the first time, please subscribe and share this video. On other news, the Prime Minister Simon Ekpan Joko has congratulated them. Um, the U.S. Um, president-elect in the person of um, Donald Trump. Yes, Donald Trump um, has just um, been elected um, as the new um, president of um, the United States of America, a great nation. And um, the reality is that uh, the Biafran Republic government in ESA is looking forward to work things with um, the current um, president, Donald Trump, because um, he believes strongly that um, the Donald Trump administration will favor Bia France and he has his reasons and he has spoken about those reasons. But meanwhile, I want you to enjoy this wonderful dance there from the Prime Minister Simon Ekwan Joko before we go further into the order of the day because we'll be having a lot of controversial discussions. Yes, and so many arguments, so many, you know, um, mouth tearing and mouth watering exposition that will be dropping today on this wonderful um broadcast that we have for you do not forget to be part of this broadcast fully by commenting in the comment section our comment is always open and we are here to always um, respond to your comments and also like and make sure that um, you tap the subscribe button 
ASAP. Tap the subscribe button and share this video to as many groups and platforms. they don't even have anything to say again because their lies cannot pay you understand when you look at what they are saying they will just keep on running around circle circle without saying anything we are decimating them with fact and figure and we will keep on decimating them till the Biafran um, redeclaration and we will defend it so we are winning and they must know that we are winning. Then they will never win this war that is, you know, that is uh, 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 on, on ground now. So that's all I, uh, what, what I wanted to, you know, uh, put on here. So know that them will know that straight away. That's it. So um, I'm calling on our our brother Mazi Benchuks, please um, unmute your mic. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, my brother, Mr. Freedom for all. I thank you, Mazi, and sir, my good brother. Thank you. Good morning, David. Uh, thank you for the wonderful work you are doing as well. Um, Mazda K, the man who eat the heart of the lion. You are doing great. Yeah, but I will not forget to give the honor to whom honor is due, all the ministers on board, our, our Honorable Minister 247, Mazo Tungwamaya, uh, Mr. Snow. Yeah, Mr. Snow, we can see the sun is trying to rise up. We're not going to face cold anymore. Yet, oh, Mazi Williams, you are there. Has it been off here? Time for you to come to live in this. In the city is approaching. Sister Chichi, Obiuku, uh, Simon Chizoba, uh, uh, Chizoba. Yeah, God, God, God always saves us. I'm as, as a hill. You guys are doing wonderful to be here to propagate the wonderful work of God. 
brothers, uh, I think we should start uh, counting our blessings. You know, everybody has a has a double eye, one one physical eye and one spiritual eye. If you don't, if you you must develop that one, the spiritual one, for you to know that the what the other one cannot see. You will, you you will know that really God is doing a fantastic job in the life of dear friends. The way things are unfolding, the way things is happening. If is anyone telling you to oh, go and fight for Abuja people, go and fight there, <laughs> just laugh over that person, you know. I keep on saying it that Nigeria will be a replica of Afghanistan. What the way the way Nigeria Nigeria will melt like a wax. If you know what is called wax, I don't know if some, maybe some people don't know what's called wax. That is how Nigeria will just melt like a wax. We just blown away. In a short time, we'll be, there's a country called Nigeria before. And it's gonna happen. It's happened before your eye and my eye. So what we need is to make sure we we added more more good soil to that very coconut tree. We put manure so that the coconut tree will grow and produce that very wonderful coconut we expect. And we all will drink from that very water. Our PM is doing wonderful. Absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. You know, like our leader said, they will come. They will do all their propaganda. Even at the dying minute, some people will still fall away, fall out. But hold hold on you with your strength. This is time we develop our mental toughness, our spiritual toughness, to know how the wave is coming. Because it comes from different, different, different waves. Like since before I come into this very it's very it took me they kicked me up and down, but it will not deter us. All this nonsense, it will not deter us. We come to do that assignment. We have asked to come and do that assignment. So the Elohim will be always with us in any form they come. According to the say, if they come from the right or from, come from, we will defeat them in every form. When I saw the some of the tweets from our PM this morning, it really, really, really gave me joy. The enemy is quaking. They are quaking every day. Yesterday, I can see that parrot Musa, the one talking like a parrot every time. He's no more talking like a parrot. He's not getting dumb. Very soon, very soon, he'll be completely mute. As soon as he will be very mute to tell you that what we are doing is wonderful. I use this opportunity as well to thank, to greet our, that our angels that are there in the front line, taking the whole bullet, taking the whole insult, taking the whole, all sorts of uh, 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 evil attack from from the forest, doing the wonderful job, standing for the people. Say no, I will not allow my people to be perish. I thank them so much. I also thank the ministers as well. You know, they're, they're, in those days. Uh, we used to be uh, uh, so conversant in football. As one journalist said, if three are not together, if three are not together, they cannot produce anything. Is 
for a government to thrive, to produce what they are supposed to do, that means all the people working, they are working together. They abide to each other. They listen to each other. And the government also is listening to the people you are governing. That is what is called real dividend of democracy and how the people will govern you. As an issue, I mean, it's the work and how a child will, if we fade from the scratch. I love them so much. They are wonderful, wonderful people bringing wonderful, wonderful ideas and making the ship to be running smoothly. No one could be able to, that we could be at this moment now, at this moment in time. Like play, like play. Who is that boy? Is this that boy? That apocalyptic guy. But he is really, really a pain in the ass for the so-called giant of uh, idiots. Thank God we have come. And we will make him great. We will make him great because he made us great. Honor to whom who honor is due. I'm not gonna get take much people's time here. I can see a lot of the house is completely full. Many people have something to give. I thank everyone. Uh, David, I thank you so much. Mazin also. Keep fit. I hit my mic. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are there, my brother. Nam. You could see everything here. Because um, if we don't know that we are making good headway, we are, we are really doing well. We are really doing well. Because what they wanted to do is to shut us up by bullying us in various spaces. As you can see, how many times have you seen this um, Yoruba or Labisi common space again? I know maybe after this now we will go and open space, but the truth is that they are having internal problem within themselves as I speak to you now because the money they are they are they pay them or maybe they are about to or whatever they are trying to go and do is not enough. And some of them that has conscience are not really want to go into that route because of the implication on it because when they know that the Biafran government has a law that will that will deal with them most of them are drawing back a little bit that's why when you go to some spaces you see different people that are not even you know believing in what we are doing but their support in what we are doing they will be kicking against it telling them that what they are doing is not the right thing to do you understand? Um, maybe by this time, let's say, let me just give them like from now to next month, you will see how the social media will be. It's true that they are going to fight back, most of them, and they are going to use some of these, um, 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 Renu, you know, some of these people, you know, that are not uh, um, Biafrans, or those ones that are that that has all these um, businesses and all that, just like um, this idiot that called himself um, watching a mere whatever whatever, you understand that has business. These are the kind of people that they are going to lure in, and at the end of the day, will still decimate them with fact and figure. So you look at them they are they are they don't have anything to offer anymore they are fighting themselves this one the, this one that called himself um what does uh, was was his name um uh, uh mr master abi whatever I, I can't even remember this man name you can you hardly see him on space anymore he doesn't come to space again to speak this all these uh, grammar 
you see the other ones calling our our supreme leader criminal and simon ever criminal uh he was on space yesterday he cannot even make full statement the way he normally talk lengthy because most of them are coming to themselves to them senses now knowing fully well that they are going to face whatever thing that they said with their mouth they are going to face the law the law is going to come back to them so that's why i said to them that they are never going to win this war they will never going to win this war anyway let me go ahead to give uh, mr snow the the mic to speak and uh, again i want to use this opportunity to um, you know greet our our um honorable minister mr ugochuku 247 i saw him here and um yes i want to greet him for coming around and if anybody who wants to pick up the mic are free to pick up the mic and talk about our you know the topic precisely so you are free to pick up the mic even if maybe you don't have much thing to say you can just equally greet the house and that's it thank you very much mr snow please go ahead yes um uh, freedom uh just uh remember i didn't uh i didn't say anything on the topic but there was something i had in mind to say actually about this topic um first of all for those who are saying go to abuja uh, just be aware, uh, it's an insult to tell a whole Igube to start going to uh, Asoro. We can't, uh, Igube cannot move from where it is. Our government cannot move to go and uh, start uh, dialoguing with Asoro. And uh, if you're talking about our soldiers who are dealing with your soldiers because your soldiers are causing insecurity in our land and in order for our land to be cleaned up we have to clean up the ants and the soldier ants that are in our, in our land so if you're talking about those soldier ants um the right people who deal with terrorism in our country which is the military both foreign and the most and uh, uh, domestic that are dealing with them our soldiers they deal with terrorists that is coming against the biafran people both foreign and domestic and they are dealing with them now our soldiers are they stay in the barracks our soldiers, they are not like the the zoo terrorists that crawls around everywhere they see our soldiers they have a base and they stay in their barracks unless the need arises. If the need doesn't arise for them to come out, they don't need to come out. So I just know I need him and I actually need Abuja. We don't have any problem with Abuja. We are dealing with the problem that is in our land, which is your terror. You want us to go to Abuja the same way you left your own place so that terrorists took it over. Now we we'll leave our house and go to Abuja so that you can uh, keep killing our, our, our children and our mother. It's not going to happen. If you come into our land, we will kill you. Only open a by to kill our people will be a dead person. It's just that simple. You know, what we are doing is that we are defending ourselves with equal measure. With equal measure. Bro, the bro thinking, oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. We are defending ourselves with equal measure. So if you're worried about the insecurity in our land, please talk to your people, let them go back. For those who are talking about sit at home, if sit at home, if our people are tired of sitting at home, they know what to do. They will sit at home. Even when they are tired of sitting at home, they're going to sit at home. At the end of everything that is going on, the Nigerian population will beg to sit at home. We will remember it. The whole population, the Nigerian population, you see children, you see how these children were, were locked up in cages? The Nigerian population will beg to sit at home as opposed to protesting. But that time is coming. So don't ask us why 
um, why we are not going to Abuja and our sit at home, the people that it is affecting, they are crying about it, and that's all that, that matters. Every other thing, it doesn't matter. As long as the, the targeted people are receiving it, which is the zoo government, we are okay with it. Darling, everybody. Thank you. Yes, so yes, so uh, Hannah, see, Hannah, see, gi, gi, why, why are you sitting at home? The sit at home is, um, is causing, um, you know, is causing them, um, their economy, their economy, their economy. What useless economy are they talking about? Yeah, what useless economy are they talking about? We are talking about what is working. And somebody is talking about economy. What nonsense economy? Before I started doing, um, what does it called? Before I started my business, I struggled to do other things before I went into apprentice. Today, the money I, I made and the business which I am doing is from my personal money that I raised that money to start the business and the little money that my ogre gave me because my, my ogre self don't even have much to off to, to give me. But I serve him and at the end of the day, he, 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 he blessed me and he gave me the little money he had with all his mind. I, I, my family added with the one I have and that's it. Look at where I am today. Consistently. Now, before I even joined that apprentice, I was collecting daily money from Ababanike in Ugu when I live in Ababa in Ababanike in my family house. I I used to go to Ahiababa. There is one Ahiaba. I don't know if somebody in Enugu will know this place I'm calling now. In Ahiababa, and the one that they call Ugogo Park, I also collect money at them. Um, yes, we go back and I hear Baba. We generate money. We carry this money. We will go and give it to this local government, these criminal blood suckers. They will eat this money and nothing will happen. The state government, the governor will collect their own. The commissioner of police will collect their own. Their girlfriend and the hotel will still collect their own because they are paying for hotel room and they are giving girls money. So, what has this money generated? Nothing. And somebody will come and tell you because that Mazin Namdekanu and Simon Eba is put sit at home and is giving them buzzbulls. They are here talking about that the economy, economy, economy which them themselves that are even calling that economy have never even participated or benefited from that money that that rich or that state is uh, you know generating you see these people and they are they are here talking about uh, 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 economy what about the insecurity after the war the insecurity in the southeast is even there because when you leave lagos that you are importing something and you are bringing that thing back to the east from um what's this place before you get you, you get to um uh Bini bypass and all that all the all this place once you enter east you start seeing the roadblock they will be collecting money from you till you get to east making things so difficult and making things so expensive in the east because when you put all this money your expenses you add it up and you know sell your market or whatever you brought you 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 you, you, are, you are bringing in in the southeast at the end of the day the criminal will still come and you know kidnap those that they will kidnap and shoot those that they will shoot and all that they are talking about insecurity. The insecurity that they are talking about, is it Simon Eber that causes the insecurity? Simon Eber, is it 
is he in this struggle when all these things are happening? No. They started killing us from after the war till, till Simon Eber joined this and said, no, enough is enough. And people are here talking about what they don't know. It's okay. After our declaration, after our declaration, we are going to let you know that we are not the one enforcing or the sit at home or um, the insecurity. That's all I can say. Uh, please, um, my brother, um, Ugochuku, uh, you can take the, the mic if you wishes. You're welcome, brother. Mazi, Mazi, before, are you there? Okay, before Mazi Ugochuku go know. in. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm okay, present. Okay. You are welcome. Uh, I greet you, my brother. I greet you. I greet you, Nonso. I greet you, uh, Freedom. Freedom, I see when you was there. Uh, ah, that you are in the co-host. My brother, we must do it, oh. Thank you for <laughs> holding me. <laughs> we must do Honest. it, oh. Yeah, everything has been on us. We, we, Honestly. We, we, Honestly, when uh, I was collecting this this host there, uh, my, my, my hand was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, need to, you don't need to shake my brother, you know, that's what it is, you know. Um, this is uh, the reason why we're here, and uh, we must do, you know, do everything that we need to do. It's our freedom, it's our country, it's our hope, it's our life. It's, um, and we are blessed to have the leaders like PM, uh, the African cabinet in general, the media team, we are, you know, finance ministers, these are... Uh, a blessing that any ethnic group in the world, even as America stands today, they are still making use of our family members in their different in, their, in different departments in Canada and all over the world. So, so many ethnic groups that uh, only educated. They are they are so educated online, offline. They are moron. They are population. They have. They are, some of the ethnic groups are. They are more populated online, offline. Na desert and some visa forest, I didn't get. So you see, they desire to have people like our prime minister, people like our, people like each and every one of us here. But unfortunately, that he, he, he didn't day, he didn't day. That is his fact. You know, day, you know, day. They don't get it, they will not get it, and they will never have it. I salute you all, and I salute our, our great uh, leader, Mazin Namdekano. I salute our prime minister, the prayer answer himself, the great one. You know, I salute our Biafra Defense Force, wonderful people. You know, I'll say it when you talk about being honest to the fatherland, the motherland Biafra, they are number one. And uh, we really appreciate uh, what is going on and Biafra so all over the world and Biafra coming. You know, when they talk about coming to, coming to Abuja, coming to Abuja, these guys, uh, they keep running their mouths why don't you come to Abuja? Why don't you come to Abuja? We, the Biafrans, we don't drag on other people's land. After all, you are the one who come to our place and kidnap our people and take them to Abuja. And first and foremost, we are sending you a message to bring back our people. You are the one who is telling us that oil in Bayasa State belong to Jigawa. We never tell you that gold in Zamfara belong to Imo State or belong to Ibube or belong to uh, Okigwe State. We are not such a people. But as things stand today, we have seen you all, you and your Abuja, your FCT. We have seen it all. You are the same person who will come to our territory and take our criminal to make your FCT minister. We never call any of your criminal to come and represent us in our territory. But the point to remain here that we are fighting in our territory. We are fighting to protect our land. We are fighting to keep our, to safeguard our land. We are not fighting for, when the time come, when the time comes, after the declaration and all the demands that things that belong to us, that matter to us, which is very, very vital, our citizens that you are holding in Abuja, and you fail to release them, then if you hear Kagbom, Kagbom, the whole world will say they are right because they told you, they give you ultimatum to release, bring back. You say that we are one Nigeria at this particular moment, right? So what is difficult then? And the Akobio told you that Simon Eka is the governor of the south of the south or the eastern region, right? He is the one who speaks, you know, the the government controls the territory. 
He have demanded for the people to bring back. You say, yeah, we are one Nigeria, right? Yeah, you say so. Just say so. Which we don't believe so. Then what happens? What What is the problem? If you know that this can keep calms, this can make your courts to be to keep working, be open. Bring back our people if you have not killed them, if you are not a murderer, if you are not a terrorist that the world know you are. If you are not a terrorist that you are, bring back our people. You have prisons in our territory. Bring them back to us. But you will not bring them back because you have wasted our people's life. You did not take them in a genuine mind. You take them to keep, you know, uh, reducing our population. You take them to think that if I have this one, that this is Madabuchi or TBK or Ugutuku, I'm looking at in this prison. This may be the next uh, Simon Ekwa tomorrow. Is it not better I just waste him? Or it may be the next Nandu de Kano. Or it may be the next uh, Mazida K. These voices I'm hearing. Or this woman I'm looking at here. May be another Sister Stella. Or it may be another, you know, you, go, you know, it may be another, uh, um, uh, this one may be another uh, Ngozi or Aboezi. But the fact remains that all those things we are not interested. Because see, we know that you are a weak country. You are weak. You have military online. Offline, you have nobody. All you have is children and untrained bastards who collect, who, who put on army uniform to go and fight their girlfriend as boyfriend. That is why some of them are very military. Some of them get military clothes, just get into the military to to go and fight their, their present girlfriend as boyfriend. I have seen the videos. These are useless bunch of monkeys. Some of them get the uniform to go and extort money from, from vulnerable people. Because many that know what's up, you know, if you can't stop them. I have, I have been home several times. I have not seen any of them. We drove past them. They never stopped me. They will only say, look. Once they look, hey, chairman, you have anything? I know we will answer you. Because when you look, no person go tell you, say, okay, no go jail. But that is by the way. But the point here is that coming to Abuja to, you know, to come and, uh, you know, um, to come and face the uh, uh, um, Abuja, not, not yet. Abuja is not here. We, for now, we are not. We don't have nothing to do with Abuja. First and foremost, we need to clear all the terrorists who flood in our territory. We need to fish out all the Sahel terrorists that you flood in our territory. And all of them will continue going down. And we will start, we will continue to remove all this, your terrorist camp, called police stations and the army barracks. These are all terrorist camps. And they must all, from A to Z, must be removed. There is no way about Because I know several years, Nigeria have believed that everything our parents give back to, you know, give them money, Promise them, Senator, tell them 19, tell them they will become president or the son, your son, the one that you haven't given birth to. He will sell out. He will be like Obi to go and sit in the mosque, open in house like Bambiala. But this generation does not understand that because we have seen it all. We have seen it all. Not be black, brag. We have seen it all. Everything that the world has, we have seen it all. For example, our PM live in a country who contests one of the most happiest people in the world. Some of us live in a country that contests one of the most secure countries on the planet. Some of us live in a country where some of us are participating are participate in the government of a country who is the police of the world. Run their businesses, you know, have their job, you know, doing a wonderful job, medical doctors. So coming to talk about people who use that something billion to achieve Kilichi in 35 years. What the hell am I going to be doing with you? We have plans. We, and our plans is going accordingly. And our people are very happy. And above all, you are not be able to set your Ruga, the terrorist camp called Ruga in our territory. We stop it. We, we, are, and we now make it possible that all your studies have no value. They are valueless. And your plans against Mazin Nandekano to weaken his spirit fails. Mazin Nandekano that he wanted to isolate all of us, in, you know, with the, with the ideology of those that you paid money, fails. And he's waxing strong. And you know the danger that is there for harming him.
everything is working. And Biafra, gateway to Biafra, right here in our face. Convention of last year, that, 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 that was a gateway to what we are doing today. It was successful. Absolutely. 100%. Including even the distraction, those that is inner house distractors. They failed. The government was able to fish them out and trash them. Put them in the trash. All their shenanigans dies. Their names disappear. And the African government is moving with a speed. So coming to come and tell us what to do, it's the height of stupidity. It's the worst stupidity. And we are not beating around the bush. We are not going for a look from a look P75.